Okay guys, um, so welcome back to Tinkercad. I believe this is lesson five. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna have a go at making ourselves um, a at least a design for a whistle. So what we're gonna do, and it, you know, it should function if we were to print it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by grabbing the cylinder and we're gonna give it lots of sides. So slide that all the way across to 64. And then we're gonna flatten this out so that it is two millimeters thick. Okay, so I grab the center two millimeters thick. Okay, um, the dim other dimensions of it are going to be um, this one. If I click on the corner, I can type in. This one's going to be 35, and this one's going to be 35. So we're going to make this model slightly um, larger. Actually, I might make this 1.5. Um, we're going to make this model slightly larger than it is in real life and then at the very end once it's grouped we can skinny it down and it should um, rescale better so sometimes we make a model large in a larger dimension than we're actually needing um, so that it's easy to work with and then we can skinny it down afterwards okay so um, I've made my circle there and I'm going to use the box and again its thickness needs to be 1.5 um, I'm going to make it sort of how wide is that? 10 wide. I'm going to try and line line that up. It should snap to. Um, and obviously, you need to make that a bit longer so you're able to blow it into the whistle. So I'm going to make that 35 long. Okay, so it's one of the it's sort of like an old-fashioned style whistle uh, with like a P inside that. Um, blows around. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to have that as our top that we're going to need in a little bit. So I'm actually going to copy those things and I'm going to paste them over there. I'm just going to drop them there. So they're the exact same dimensions as these things here. We're going to need them at the end. Um, so what I'm then going to do, I'm actually going to group these two objects um, just for now at least. Group and then I'm going to make them quite a bit thicker. So I'm going to make them, um, let's say 15, no, 18 millimeters thick. Okay, so it's going to, you see how it's that, it's that sort of shape of whistle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create another box and this one is going to be a hole. I'm going to line it up like this. And we, so we made it before, so it was 10 um, wide here now we're going to have it so that it's, it's going to have a hole down the center of it that's four millimeters wide. I'm actually going to, I can, I could use the align tool if I wanted to, um, which we've used in the past, but I can kind of see that that's dead in the center there because it's snapping to these millimeter sections. And I actually need to um, drop the height of it a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to do that again. And then what I can do is I can lift it Okay. Um, let me think. Okay, yep. Yeah, so I can go like that. Um, so that height there above, its height above the ground should, we want that to be 1.5. 1.5. Okay. All right. So it should stick out at the top. That's fine because we're going to cut, we're going to cut that off with the top piece that we'll put on at the end and the, and then we're going to make the length all the way across over here okay um, then what we're going to do is we're going to get a circle okay again it's going to be a hole so if it if it arrives to you as a solid you just click on hole um, let's make it really nice and smooth inside so we're going to give it lots and lots of sides so 64 sides and just for a moment I'm going to break the model apart Going to put this in the middle roughly um, and we'll align it. So I'm going to make it so that it's the hopefully the exact same size and I'm just going to skinny it down a bit. So let's try that. Let's select those two pieces, align them like that and like that. And then what I can do if I click out of that, so I've just got the hole, I can look at the width, make the width. So I don't want I don't want the hole to break through the outside. I want it to be 
uh, I wanted to have a bit of space so that all of the hole is inside. All right, I don't really want any of that to be sticking out. Try and make it round if you can. I think that's pretty good. If I click on the corner, I can check it. Right, 31 by 31, that's round. But it's going to go all the way through, so I need to lift that up by 1.5. 1.5. Okay, so it's going to leave this side on. Okay. Um, and one more thing I need to do before I put the top back on my piece is I have to create like a very thin little hole because if you've ever seen a whistle that looks a bit like this, you um, you blow in this end and it actually there's a hole about here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that for ourselves now. So I've just made a new hole. I'm going to lift it up again. I'm going to lift it up 1.5. Okay. I'm going to bring it over towards our shape, but actually it should be tilted just a bit. Okay. So it needs to be tilted more than that. But not quite as much as that. So you can do fine tuning. So if you're if you rotate things close to the center, it's kind of jumpy. If you do it right out here, it's much finer control, and I can choose exactly how um, that will go. Oops, did not mean to do that one. Okay. All right. I think that looks pretty, pretty good. Okay, so let's try this. So what I'm now going to do is we're now going to group all of these things together. So there's all those bits. So it's going to join the red piece and the and the orange piece together to make one piece of plastic. Then it's going to cut out this bit here, which I blow into the mouthpiece, and then it's going to cut out the main center, the main chamber of the whistle itself, and it's going to cut out this kind of hole. All right. So let's try that group. Okay, there we are. So starting to look a bit like a whistle, but in every whistle you've ever seen. Um, they have a ball inside. Now, uh, it's normally a tiny, tiny little um, pea or like a ball bearing or something really small. So we're going to make it so that it is five millimeters wide by five millimeters that way by five millimeters high. Okay, so there it is. There's another pea. And I need to make sure for apps, oopsie, needs to be exactly in the right place. So because we're going to print this, or if we were to print this, um, we would need to print it so that it can't come out of that hole. That's why I've made this five, and that hole was only four, um, and the same down here. But we need to print it so that it's not actually, um, fl we need to make sure it's not floating in midair, because if I try and print it like this, right, if I zoom right into my model, I wonder if it'll let me do it. No. Um, if I print it in midair, if I'm looking through that gap, it's going to pr print lots of spaghetti here, plastic spaghetti. Um, but if I print it intersecting like this, then it's going to print as all as one. It's going to join this ball piece to my plastic whistle, which I don't want either. So what I need to do is I need to make it so that it sits. So we know that that thickness there is 1.5. So I need it to sit like one. Um, 1.5 almost exactly just about touch and when it prints it'll print it right and then what you do is you get a, you put it in a position so that you can poke something through this hole here break that P off and then it'll be able to move freely inside the whistle okay so sometimes when you're making something that needs to move later okay you, you do it so that it's, it is touching and it will have something to sit on when it prints but it's not going to be too solid. You want it to be able to break away later on. Okay then, so to finish off, all we're going to do is we're going to select the last two little pieces. We're going to group them together. Okay, and then we're going to lift them up. And I know that this object here is 18 high, so we're actually going to um, lift it up by 18. Okay, or maybe not. move it across without changing the shape of it I'm going to try and line it up the best I can okay there we 
we go so that is now ready to seal up so all I'm going to do is I'm going to group all of those things including the little P inside okay so when they uh, if this was printed okay you'd poke something through there and break it off and then it would be a functional whistle don't forget you could put your name and things on the outside but if you use it as a cutout like we did with the pencil pot last week your whistle will then no longer work so make sure if you did something like that like you put your name along here or give it a brand name or a model name then you would have to do it out of solid text instead of thin space okay that's the end